Delighted that we got another three points, Mark, but you cannot have been happy with that first half performance. No, I thought it was very, uh, we didn't adapt to conditions, you know, and, uh, and one thing, you know, that good sides do, they learn to adapt, and we didn't, you know, we, you know the pitch is, you know, you know, I'm not going to be trying to make any excuses, it's the worst playing service we've been on this year, and, uh, you know, we're good on the game plan. And uh, they didn't go out and do it. And, uh, and as a manager, that's always disappointing. And, but you know, I said to them at half time, you know, I'm on the gaffer. And uh, you know, if they do what I tell them to do, don't come off. You know me, I'm big enough that I'll stand up and say, I've messed up today. But what I won't have is when I ask them to do something, they don't do it. If they're not going to do it, I'll get players in that will do it. You know, and, and little, little forms like that can undo all the good work they've done. Because, you know, I've, I've uh, done nothing but, you know, praise them and speak highly of them over the last eight or nine weeks. And them lads have done this club so proud because of the fact that they've, you know, uh, confirmed Ryman League status next year. Dug ourselves out of an hole and they, and they did that, the players did that, and they deserve all the credit. But what I won't have us is going through the motions and not doing the right thing uh, until the end of the season. And it's very important, you know, because players are playing for their futures. Because I want to take this club forward, and if they want to be part of that, then that's up to them. If not, I'll get players in who, who, uh, who will do it for me. You know, but, you know, words are said at half time. They were said, second half. Second half done ever so well. Good, good performance. It was a, you know, it wasn't the greatest game. I feel sorry for any support today who's had to pay seven, eight pounds to watch that because it was a quite a scrummy game. Uh, but like I say, I thought it was a professional, disciplined second half. People did they, people did exactly what I asked them. Did their jobs and we come out worthy winners. It's one of those games, Mark, that where the, the the goal didn't matter who scored, it was going to change the game. It was us, and we stepped up again. It was one of games when whoever scored first would win the game. You know, and I thought coming at Newell, I thought they, they played uh, some good football. I thought they played some good football at times, but you can overplay. And you know, and people say about, oh yeah, but they're trying to get the belt. But at the end of the day, we've got adaptive conditions, and we adapted, got in front, and then once we got in front. There was uh, no looking back, and really it could have been a more convincing scoreline. Very disappointed to have uh, conceded. I wanted a clean sheet today, because I think uh, I wanted a clean sheet, not, not just for, the, for us, I wanted it for Kevin. I think Kevin's been absolutely fantastic. And again, you know, the back four I thought did very well today. And the Sam come on for Quinny, I thought he'd done very well. You know, and then right at the end there, uh, Lloyd, who's had a fantastic game today. You know, he's had a good season, you know. He's, he, you know, come from the come from the Kent League. You know, he's in the, he's in the moment now. You know, and he's got stronger, stronger. He had a bit of time out of the game. Uh, I left him out. He weren't happy, but I felt he was needed. I felt he was a little bit mentally tired. You know, and he came out. And since he's come back, he's done ever so well. But I said to him, and he knows it himself. And if the game was nil one nil, he looked that ball away. Because it was three nil, he's trying to be a little bit clever and head the ball back. And I know it went for a corner, and after that, but uh, initially, if he had just cleared the ball. We'd have had a clean sheet today, and it's disappointing because as a goalkeeper, you pride yourself on clean sheets. And Kevin hasn't had hardly any this year, and you know, so I'm disappointed with Kevin. You know, but and, and it's good that you know, fans like Lord and defence know that they've made a mistake, and it's good that they they, they pride themselves. And I said, to you, you know, take pride in yourselves, take pride in what you're doing. When you're a defender, you should be yes, looking for a win. The team always comes first, looking for the win, but keeping clean sheets. You know, and you know, but that's a learning curve for you. Nobody learned from that today. Nobody learned from it, and he, he knows. And but you know, and it just took the, I said to you, it just took the little shine off the gloss of a great performance because he won his headers. He was big and strong. And maybe that's me being a little bit picky, but you know, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I wasn't, uh, if, I, if I didn't do that. And uh, you know, I, you know, and, uh, the players look positive. I look at negatives as well because you know, you take the prize. It's easy for me to get the positive, but you learn from the negative. And it's up to me to, uh, to call out the negatives. But overall, it was a great second half performance. I thought Tim Gooding was was uh, immense in the second half. Played the, played the, you know, I told him to sit front two second half. Fantastic. And you know, Pulley and Corey on the. Uh, uh, score sheet again, so uh, you know it's been a good, good. Uh, it's been a good week. It's been a good, uh, good day, and you know three games to go, and uh, we're going to enjoy it. Mark, thanks very much. I know you've got a, a big night. You're off to uh, Tommy Sampson's benefit night. I won't hold you up, mate. Thank you very much for uh, talking to us this evening. And good luck. Cheers, cheers, Danny. Thanks, thanks very much. Mate.